Welcome to Red Recaps. For today's video, we will be taking a recap of the mind-blowing psychological thriller movie, A Sixth Sense. Stick to the end for a mind-blowing ending. Let's get started. The movie started with a couple drinking wine in winter at their home. The woman reads a plaque of appreciation toward her husband, Dr. Malcolm Crow, a psychologist. They kissed and headed toward their bedroom, where suddenly the woman saw a broken glass and a telephone. They saw a frightened, naked man breaking into their home. The man insisted that he knew Dr. Crow and that he was one of his patients 10 years ago. Dr. Crow remembered his name, Vincent Gray, a man whose parents got into a divorce. Dr. Crow consoled him, saying that he is going to help him, and bang, Ryan shot him and then shot himself in the skull. The next year in South Philadelphia, Dr. Crow was seen looking out for a young boy, whose parents were also divorced. He followed as the child ran hastily across the street. He saw the boy going to a church. Dr. Crow then approached the young man, named Cole, while he was playing with his toys in Latin. Dr. Crow revealed that the boy was one of his patients. They had a conversation and Dr. Crow said that he once was a good doctor, but not anymore. Cole went out of the church saying that he will meet Dr. Crow once again, and then stole one of these saint figurines. The doctor went home and proceeded to translate the Latin words used by the young boy. In the morning, Cole's mother was seen preparing, and the boy himself was wearing a school uniform. After his mom came to replace his tie, Suddenly, all the cabinet doors opened, leaving his mom clueless and shocked. His mom saw a hand mark on the table. The young man left with his schoolmate, Tommy, and went to school. As Cole arrived home, Dr. Crow was already there, waiting on the couch. Dr. Crow asked the boy if he wanted to talk to him, but Cole declined. Dr. Crow proposed a game where he would read the mind of Cole. Dr. Crow had a good start reading Cole's mind and revealed that Cole has a secret he doesn't want to share. As the game progresses, Cole reveals that he drew a man getting stabbed by a screwdriver. Cole said that Dr. Crow was nice, but he doesn't think he could help him. After that, Dr. Crow showed up late to the date with his wife, Anna, and started talking about Cole, how he is the same as Vincent Gray. His wife was obviously mad as she greeted him with a happy anniversary and walked away. Dr. Crow walked with Cole and said to him that he's a freak. Meanwhile, in their home, Cole's mom noticed something about his photographs. Dr. Crow and Cole continued talking in their house as his mom inspected all the drawings Cole had made, as well as his writing. Cole said to Malcolm that he doesn't want to be scared anymore. At school, the teacher asked about their school. Cole said that lawyers used to hang people in their building a hundred years ago. The teacher denied Cole's claims, and Cole started yelling at his teacher, calling him stuttering Stanley over and over again. His teacher snapped and called him a freak. Cole met with Dr. Crow, saying he didn't want to talk. Malcolm showed him a cheap magic trick instead. Cole was not fascinated. Malcolm went home and found a tape playing on the TV. It was their wedding tape. He went upstairs and discovered a bottle of antidepressants in the bathroom's cabinet. Meanwhile, at a birthday party, Cole tried the same magic trick Malcolm did to one of the kids. Cole noticed someone that had been locked up in the door. Then, two kids approached him and locked him inside one of the rooms. His mom noticed that Cole was locked in, and suddenly the door was unlocked and Cole was found unconscious. They checked Cole in the hospital, and the doctors found out that Cole had bruises and cuts. Dr. Crow went to Cole's room and told him a bedtime story. Cole insisted that he wants the story of why Dr. Crow is sad. Dr. Crow told his story about Vincent and how things got different. Malcolm revealed that he wants to help Cole and also help Vincent. Cole decided to tell Dr. Crow his secret. He revealed that he could see dead people walking around like normal people. He also revealed that they're everywhere and he sees them all the time. Dr. Crow then talked to a recorder and said that Cole has paranoia and schizophrenia, and he couldn't help Cole. Cole's mother took him out of the hospital and went home. His mother saw another wound scar on Cole's back. Sometime after, Cole was urinating and saw a bruised woman yelling that her husband couldn't hurt her anymore. She continued yelling as Cole hid under a blanket 
full of saints. After a play in school, Dr. Crow met with Cole and asked him about what he said in the hospital. Cole then saw three people hanging, staring at him. Cole said that the feeling of getting goosebumps and getting cold was the doing of dead beings. He asked Dr. Crow to make these dead beings leave. Cole got home and is having dinner with his mom. Cole's mom asked him if he took a bumblebee pendant. Cole denied, insisting that someone take it and place it in his room. His mom yelled at him to get out of the dinner table. Then as he went to his room, he saw a man telling him where the gun was hidden. He asked his mother if he could share the bed tonight. His mom said yes and started crying. Right after, a woman trying to sell a ring to a couple is seen. She then gifted a man a book, and as they got closer, a breaking glass was heard, and it was Malcolm, and that woman was Anna. Dr. Crow's wife is trying to sell her marriage ring. Dr. Crow then went to Cole and told him that he had lost his grip on his wife, his only family, and he was transferring him to other psychologists. Cole cried, insisting that Malcolm was the only one who believed in him. Dr. Crow went home and remembered Vincent, and he listened to the tape recording of their conversation. And as he listened to the tape, he heard voices, men speaking in Spanish. He then went to see Cole and found him in the church. He told Cole about what he heard and revealed that those Spanish voices are translated to, I don't want to die. This is getting interesting. Dr. Crow then asked Cole what they really wanted. And Cole said that they wanted help. Dr. Crow says that he wants to help them, but Cole is hesitant. On that night, Cole was in his tent, when suddenly a woman vomiting was sitting right beside him. He ran away in fear, and now he heard a woman menacingly laughing. He then decided to go back to his tent, and once again he saw the girl, crying, and she said that she felt better. The next morning, he and Dr. Crow rode the bus to attend a funeral. It's the funeral of the girl Cole saw last night, the girl who was vomiting. They went to that woman's bedroom and saw dolls everywhere. Then, suddenly, the woman emerged from under the bed, and she gave Cole a box. What's inside it? Cole then went down and gave the box to the woman's father, saying that it was for him, and that she wanted to tell him something. The box then revealed a VHS tape. The woman's father watched the video, and what is this? The video revealed that her mother put poison in her food, resulting in her death. Her own mother killed her. Cole then meets with another girl, now the woman's friend, and gives her a doll she previously owned. After that, Cole participated in a school play. He played as a stable boy who lifted a powerful sword, King Arthur. He met with Dr. Crow after that play, and they talked about how great he was in the play. Cole said that maybe they're not going to see each other again, and Dr. Crow needs to go now. Well, on his way home with his mom, he told her that he was ready to communicate with her and tell her his secrets. He told his mom that he could see a dead lady in the car crash, standing beside him. He revealed to his mom that he could see ghosts. He revealed that they wanted him to help them. He then told his mother that his grandmother stole the bumblebee pendant because she likes it a lot and that she visits him sometimes. He said that her grandmother and her mother had a fight before her mother's dance recital. She got mad because she didn't come, but his grandmother actually did, and that she loved his daughter every day and made her proud. Meanwhile, Dr. Crow got home and saw his wife playing their wedding VHS tape once again. His wife, sleeping, asked him why he left her, and he realized that Cole was the only one that could actually see him, that he was dead a long time ago when Vincent shot him. Dr. Crow is dead, and he wants Cole to help him. What a twist of events! He went to his wife and told her that he was ready to go now. Malcolm told his wife that he loved her so much, and she can rest now, knowing that tomorrow will be different, as his wife said goodnight to him. That movie was really sensational and intriguing. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, leave a comment down below if you liked the movie. If you're interested in the movie and you want to check it out, click the links down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching Red Recaps. I'll see you in the next video.